Hi everyone. So do you find this photograph somewhat resembling to the present situation of your child's teeth? Or are they somewhat like this on both the sides? So yes, today we'll be discussing about some of those situations wherein you have multiple teeth, specifically the milk teeth, multiple milk teeth involved in a child of very young age. And the picture that you can see on the screens, one side it shows the early childhood caries and the other shows severe early childhood caries. Both of them are the same. The only difference lies in the age group. So to start with early childhood caries, we'll be taking up the definition as given by AAPD, that is American Association of Pediatric Dentistry. That says that the presence of one or more decayed teeth, it can be cavitated, it can be non-cavitated. And then a missing tooth or teeth, which is specifically because of caries and any presence of filled tooth surface. That means it was decayed and you got it filled by the filling material. In any of the primary tooth in a child of less than 71 months of age, that means approximately 6 years of age or younger, then that will fall into the category of being affected by early childhood caries. So I hope that was clear. That means if you have presence of at least one, it can be more than one decayed tooth, missing tooth because of cavities and filled tooth surface in any of the primary tooth in a child of less than 71 months of age or 71 months of age will fall into the category of early childhood caries and severe early childhood caries is the same the presentation of early childhood caries and severe early childhood caries are the same the only difference lies in the age of the child. Now, when the age of the child is three years or less than that, any kind of smooth surface caries, that means any kind of decay that you can see on the smooth surface of the tooth, that is usually the front teeth which have got the largest smooth surface, then that is indicative of severe early childhood caries and this is also suggested by AAPD which is the most recognized association to follow in pediatric dentistry. And the typical feature of either early childhood caries or severe early childhood caries is that the lower front teeth will not be affected at all whatsoever by the decay process and the reason is it's uh, protected by the tongue wh while the child is sleeping. So now you must be wondering that why does this happen? The biggest reason for this is when the child is put to bed for nap, it can be either in afternoon or at night. So when a child is put to bed for nap, either with bottle milk or with any kind of sugarated beverage, when the child falls asleep, two things happen. First is the salivary flow reduces and because of that, it's easier for the liquid to pool around the teeth and also the posture of the child while sleeping aids in liquid pooling. Then the clearance of the liquid is reduced obviously because it's able to pool and the saliva is not able to cleanse it. Also the carbohydrate rich liquid that's there it's an excellent medium for the bacteria to act upon release acid and eventually cause decay and this is the reason why this kind of early childhood caries or I should say severe early childhood caries any of these two kind of caries it's even named as nursing bottle decay or baby bottle decay because the nursing bottle is the major cause which is behind the early childhood caries or severe early childhood caries. Now, so to say prevention is the cure, we'll first be discussing prevention. To prevent this, what you need to do is while the child is feeding, you're supposed to hold the child when the child is feeding in the feeding position so that that pooling doesn't happen and whatever the child is drinking goes inside. Second thing, you need to make the child burp after he or she has finished feeding before you put him or her to sleep. 
so that will also prevent any kind of pulling and also uh, make the child gulp of whatever is there in his or her mouth third thing is try to wipe the gums of the child at least twice in a day it's best if you can do it after the child has had or has finished his or her feeding and if not then at least try to do it twice in a day and the fourth thing is start brushing as soon as the first tooth erupts there's no waiting for brushing as soon as you see the child has had his or her first tooth start brushing so all these four will help in not having this kind of simultaneous multiple primary tooth decay now after prevention comes the cure now cure will have two steps again first is the preventive step which we've already discussed and second is the therapeutic step that means you have to get it treated you have to get it filled what kind of filling will be required to what extent is required all that will be decided by your doctor by your dentist why is getting it filled important because when you get that decayed or those decayed teeth i should say when you get them filled by the filling material that interrupts that stops the decay process by first mechanically removing all the bacteria and second uh, making it self cleansing because obviously when you get it filled you're providing a smooth surface again so both of these steps will help in curing or treating the present situation which is early childhood caries or severe early childhood caries or baby bottle decay or nursing bottle decay it's got multiple names so with so that's it i hope you found it useful and you were able to understand if you've got any doubt i always say you can let me know in the comment section thank you